Phone Joke Vlog. Real quick, I want to tell you about the bait and switch. Chinese, Russian, American, who knows what other countries were involved. Actioneer on Hulu Iron Mask. You see this and you're thinking, what, for the first time, Jackie Chan and Arnold Schwarzenegger share the screen in major roles, not just Arnold dropping in for a cameo? Sign me up. Well, you get quite a uh, production logo diarrhea at the start of this. About 50 logos for five minutes. Everybody involved wants a piece of this movie. Do ya? Because really what the movie is, is it's not Jackie Chan. It's not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, Jackie Chan is some wise old master locked up in a tower in London. He's a prisoner. Arnold is the warden there. If you can kind of fight Arnold and escape, you get to leave. But Arnold is tough yet. Um, not really trying out a British accent or anything, but you just go with it. They have a bit of a fight. Okay. A guy in an iron mask leaves. He may or may not be the Tsar of Russia, but he goes on a boat to China where he's gonna meet up with a guy who sent a pigeon, a courier pigeon, to his cell, possibly by accident, trying to get help from his love, who goes on the boat ride with him. And then there's a princess who is pretending to be a guy that was hanging out with that, that the carrier pigeon dude. There's gnats all over here, Christ. She's the daughter of Jackie Chan, even though it, there was this big talk about dragon eyelashes made tea. Only three people knew. The princess, the, the sorcerer master, and his daughter. Who evidently is also the princess? And then the bulk of the movie is pretty high budget East Asia martial arts fair. Some serviceable CGI. As they fight, there's a sorceress pretending to be the princess. She swaps her face over. Things are happening. It's chaotic. It has nothing to do with Arnold and Jackie Chan. Oh, so a dragon comes up. We have a fight on his tower. Jackie Chan's old. Oh, uh, we have a dwarf guy over here. He's getting backstabbed on this boat that's in a shipwreck. Arnold. So far removed from the movie, I think you're actually hurting your film by including big stars and not using them. Sure, I may not have come across this without Jackie Chan or Arnold Schwarzenegger involved. That's a possibility. But you're going to leave the audience feeling bitter that they were tricked by showing them this and giving them this. So for all you future directors, writers out there, if you have stars, use them. Even if they're old. Otherwise, don't get them. Make your good movie or your half-decent movie and don't leave everybody feeling cheated. I give Iron Mask two out of four stars. Hell, it didn't even need to be called Iron Mask. The guy with the Iron Mask was very minimal to the movie. They could have called it Princess Daughter or some shit. If you appreciate a YouTube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the eight minute mark so that it can hammer you with ad breaks, then you should subscribe to my son's channel. You just got done watching it.